Just weeks after his presidential election victory, Emmanuel Macron is facing another challenge in the form of national assembly elections. Emmanuel Macron is at risk of losing his majority in parliament. Early results from Sunday's legislative vote show a neck-and-neck -neck race between Macron's centrist ensemble and a left-wing coalition. According to the first round of polls, both sides scored around 25 to 26 percent of the popular vote. The turnout was a historically low 47.5 percent. The second round of voting will take place on the 19th of June. Pollsters have projected that Ensemble would win 225 to 310 seats in the second round of voting and possibly fall short of a majority of 289. French Prime Minister Elizabeth Bourne has called on voters to give Macron's alliance a clear mandate in the second round of elections. This evening, millions of French people chose candidates from the President's Alliance, thanks to them and the massive number of candidates qualified for the second round. We are facing only political movement in a position to win a majority in the National Assembly. We have one week before us to rally our forces, one week to persuade, one week to win a strong and clear majority. Only such a strong and clear majority will enable us to respond to the urgent issues which affect the daily lives of French people and to face the challenges of the future. NUP is a newly unified left-wing alliance of leftists, socialists, Greens and communists led by Jean-Luc Mélenchon. After the first round of polling, Mélenchon claimed that Macron's party has been defeated and beaten. The truth is that the presidential party was defeated at the end of this first round. For the first time in the history, a newly elected president is not capable of gathering a majority in the following parliamentary election. National rally leader Marine Le Pen urged voters not to let Macron have a majority, which in her words would be abused by the president to impose self-centered and brutal anti-social projects. Next Sunday, it is important to not let French President Emmanuel Macron have an absolute majority, which he will abuse to implement his self-centered and brutal methods and impose his anti-social projects. Do what he wants, as he wants in your place. But without you and often against you, if you let it happen, we risk entering a tunnel for five years, a tunnel without light. For the majority of French people, this situation will be unbreathable.